Hi, Darren Lachney here from 365 Assist. Someone in the Power Apps community board asked if there's a way to search for usernames, Microsoft 365 usernames, and patch them back into or patch them into a SharePoint person column. So I found some videos that were able to show you how to search for the usernames, and then another set of videos that showed you how to patch them, but I never found one video that did them together. So I thought I'd put them, put something together of my own quite quickly to show you how to do that. So to be, begin with, I've got a SharePoint list here that I've created. And all I've done with this list is just added <coughs> a new column called, I've called it assigned to. And the column setting is of type <coughs> person or group. So now let's just see how it works in Power Apps. So I've got a username here that's connected to the Office 365 users. I'll show you that shortly. And if I start typing my names in, I can start to see names of my users. So Hunter or Darren, you can start to see the list of people there. So this brings up the list of those users with those names. And all I need to do here is just hit the save button on the particular user that I want. So I'll hit that save button. And there's a message here saying that the user's been saved. If I go back to my SharePoint list and just refresh the page, you can see now that in the assigned to, I've now connected up the actual user to that, to that record. So let's take a look at how this was put together. So over here on my Power App, if I go into the design mode, I've got two data sources, one being the Office 365 users, that's the list of users I'm going to be looking for in my search, and then obviously my SharePoint list of where I want to add, add the users. So I've got a pretty simple um, text input box here. There's nothing, nothing really to it. It's a free form text box. So I didn't put anything special uh, and just called it user input text box. All the magic happens here in the gallery. This is where the, the hard, hard lifting happens. So the first thing I need to do is add the items that I want into this gallery. So the function I prepare here is the, if the user isn't blank, so make sure that nothing comes up until some, in, um, some data is entered into this user box. So we'll keep that blank. Once we do have information in there, then go and go to the connector, the Office 365 users connector. And there's a function called search for users v2. Uh, there is a search user, sorry, um, search user, the old one, not the v2, behaves a little differently. Uh, so what you have to do here in the v2 is put in brackets the search term you're looking for, uh, and then the user input text box dot value. So that's the function you want to do. So according to the document, just be aware that when you're doing the search, it applies to what you're doing is you're looking for the display name, the given name, the surname, mail, mail nickname, or the user principal name. They're the only fields that it will search for. So you need to have started to type something in there that is a, a value in those areas. So again, let's just have, take a quick look at what that did. So if I type in it's the start of my name here, it starts to bring up the the names with my names. And you can do some filtering as well to filter out some of the um, extra ones you don't want like this oh, on MS sort of things. You can do put some filtering into uh, this as well. But I didn't do that in this case. Now, just uh, another couple of things. So to get this information, this is just this item dot display name. And uh, the next one is this email, this item dot mail. The image is a little bit different. You need to grab this sort of code. So you need to make sure that the item is blank, that that particular row is blank. Uh, if it's not blank, then you can get the user photo. Again, you're gonna need to use the connector to get the uh, icon for that user or the photo, I should say, for that user if that's what you want to get. So that's just a little bit of, of different code there. Okay, now let's just talk about saving it with the patch here. So I've got, I put in here on each of the records a little save icon, and I wanted to show you how you can patch, whoop, how you can patch those 
records. So what I've done here is just a simple patch to my test list, right, which is my SharePoint list, defaults, because I'm going to put a new record in there. You obviously would do it different if you want to modify a record. Now to do the, um, to do the, in from all the different uh, areas there, you would want to put, you need to put all this information in for the person column, right? You need to have title assigned to display and they can be all be blank. All you need in this case is just the email here, the claims to this, this item dot mail and departments. Okay, so you just need to make sure you have all these. If you don't have all these, I'll show you what happens. I'm going to remark out the picture one, for instance. Okay, if I just get rid of that then I get an error, right? Because I haven't got a picture. If I move my mouse over here, you can see that the bottom error there says missing column, your formula is missing column picture with type of image. So if you don't have all those columns there, you're going to get an error message to say, hey, we need them. Now they don't have to have anything in them. If you want to put something in them, you're more than welcome to do so, obviously from another field, uh, but they must be in this patch piece. It needs all the information, all those fields, even if they're blank. And then the claims is just the email uh, from that item that it found there. So it's pretty simple to be able to patch that uh, those records. So I hope that helped. Uh, don't forget you can um, subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's other great videos there about how to do stuff in Power Apps. See you online.